All right, here we go, folks. The albacore tuna, this is an average size. This fish weighs 17, 18 pounds. Uh, we're gonna show you here how to loin them out for those folks who would like to do it themselves. Okay, folks, first step one here is going to be to raise up this large fin you see off the front here, and we're gonna make a cut around this collar, noticing that the meat comes clear up into the middle of the head here. Second step will be to score the meat, the skin, straight down the backbone here, all the way to the tail, make a light cut across the tail there so the hide will break free. So we're going to turn this around and we're going to just cut through the hide coming down the middle of the fish again, or the, on the belly of the fish. I like to take and cut underneath that little flap of skin there, it makes it easier for me to get hold of. We're going to run our fingers underneath the hide and we will pull this back towards you. The hide will come right off. The next step will be to take and cut this fish straight down the middle here, right down the side of it, all the way to the bone. Okay, we use a long knife here, an eight inch knife, to loosen the meat from the bone, doing the belly side first. We do the belly side first because these bones lay like this on this fish, so we take our hand in here and carefully we work down alongside those bones until we get the meat loose from the bone. You notice it lays out. Now we're going to cut down through here. We come off with a nice, what we call a loin. This is the belly loin off the fish. We will turn the fish back and we'll do the same thing on the top side. Score down through. We will loosen the meat from the bone with the knife. And we have another loin. Now, we're going to turn the fish over again and we're going to repeat this process, making the cut around the collar, clear up to the middle of the head. We will cut through the hide on the belly, all the way to the tail, across the tail, back down through the the top side, we'll loosen the hide on the belly with the knife, then we will start here underneath the saddle, and we will put this fish here and we will pull the hide. Now we will repeat the process, we are going to go down the middle of the fish, we'll loosen the bone, or the meat from the bone, using your fingers carefully go down. The tuna bones are very sharp. We come off with another loin. We'll do the same on the top. We have a carcass left here, there's nothing there. Now, one of the harder steps is to be cut this dark meat. If you can see the dark meat that lies on these pieces here, on each section has what we call red meat. Now that red meat has to come off. So we take the, your knife and you get this started and you don't just cut, you cut and push with your knife. There's a thin membrane or a seam in here that you'll notice as we go down through this thing. When you get it down towards the back, loose it on the front, then you can pull the rest of it off. Now this is what your fish should look like when it's done. A nice clean loin. Looks very good. We're going to do the same thing on the belly here. The belly's a little harder to do because it's not as much of a solid chunk. But you notice I'm pushing away like that with my knife. You may not be able to see this very well, but believe me, it is important to do this. Again, we have another nice loin of meat.
If you do this properly, you should come up with at least 50% recovery on your fish. That is kind of the industry standards. Uh, some of us can get 52 or 53 percent depending on the fish that you're working with. On the tail of these fish sometimes you see all this white tissue. I just cut it off, get rid of it because it doesn't do much for your canning or your barbecue either for that matter. This is an excellent fish for home canning, barbecuing, or eating fresh. Uh, it's a very simple process. It also makes wonderful fish and chips. Fish like that, there's a whole tub of them. Uh, excellent eating. Canning is a simple process for you. Uh, 10 pounds of pressure for 90 minutes, generally in half pint jars because that's a lot of fish. It makes an excellent, excellent smoke fish uh, because of the oils in this fish. It really takes the smoke well and it's very good. You do need to cut your amount of salt back on the fish though. Uh, you can find most of your canning instructions will be in any good cookbook and uh, I would advise you strongly to read them. Remember, be careful when you're dealing with a pressure cooker also because sometimes they kind of go haywire. But other than that, it's a great fish and it's a great experience. So come on down and give it a try.